This tutorial highlights some of the new and updated features in D2L Learning Environment 10.5.2 and other D2L products. The Import Export Copy Components tool has been updated. Copying selected components from one org unit to another now employs an asynchronous workflow. This decreases the risk of timeouts occurring while copying large courses and enables administrators and instructors to perform other tasks while the copy process is underway. Once users start copying components, they can check the progress of copy jobs by clicking View History in the Import Export Copy Components tool. The new Copy Course Components History page displays the progress of each job. The User Progress tool has been updated. The summary and content reports in User Progress contain statistics on the amount of time learners spend on content topics. Updated time tracking logic corrects inaccuracies that result from user session timeouts and connectivity losses. The update also improves how user progress tracks time spent in a content topic when the user switches between browser tabs. Changes to D2L Learning Environment 10.5.2 also include an update to data exports. Clients can now choose between two bundles that contain the most popular types of data exports. When creating or updating external learning tool links using Valence APIs, developers can now set the links to open in a new window. Also, the authentication service now supports proxy servers. This allows on-premise clients that use proxy servers to take advantage of Brightspace products, like Brightspace Pulse, that depend on the authentication service. A new Google Apps integration feature is available. Administrators can now choose a read-only Google Directory API route for the service account to use while accessing Google Domain data. This API route provides more restricted access to the service account than the existing API. Also, the option to enable read-only access to the Google Directory API now appears on the Google Apps Administration Settings page. To enable it, check the Read-Only Access to Google Directory API checkbox, and then click Save. Once the setting is enabled, the Google Apps Administration Manage Users page removes the Create New User, Suspend Accounts, and Restore Accounts options. Other changes include a new simplified login for the Microsoft Office 365 integration. Administrators can now allow learners to connect to the integration without having to enter their email address and additional time.